First thing you're going to do when you walk in a room, it's always patient safety. And you're always going to wear gloves whenever you go to job one. Well, we figured the nurses would be great. Uh, we figured that this was part of their curriculum and education. And uh, Dr. Asmar, our advisor, uh, suggested that we contact the school of nursing and see if anyone was interested. You press it, and the vacuum will go. When I got the invitation from Errol, I felt very privileged, very honored that our future physicians want to learn from their future nurses. And you'll want to pull a little bit tighter, otherwise you won't get enough pressure. The importance of this day, I think, specifically is we have nursing students, they're doing you know, what we call interprofessional education, where you have more than one professional uh, teaching each other, and I think that's a wonderful opportunity for our students. This is something they're going to expect to be doing when they graduate, work with other professionals uh, to provide the best patient care. He has a, a really good vein right here I could probably get even without the tourniquet. It's really uh, a great opportunity to bring the nurses down here and uh, have them teach us a skill that we as physicians rely on every single day. The doctors can be called upon to draw blood sometimes when nobody else can get it. So I think it's important for you know, uh, physicians to be able to know at least the technique, how to do it and be good at it. The relationship can start now. The relationship doesn't have to be a bedside once you have graduated, once we have graduated. Why not start it from the beginning and grow together? It's exciting to see nursing students and medical students working together to make each other better and learn and hopefully they can use this uh, experience to better patient care.